There's no such thing as a Hindu going out in the world with a gun and saying you must believe in reincarnation. <laughs> it's laughable. Ask any Hindu that. Say, would you take a gun out and try to make everyone believe in reincarnation? You know, they'll kind of giggle and go, no, I'm sorry, I would not do that. We don't do that, I am a Hindu. They're saying that for your benefit. I am a follower of a viewpoint that respects every living entity. That wouldn't think of forcing them to a viewpoint. That sees the divine in everyone. This is also why, originally, before colonization, before Islam and Christianity were violent in India, before outside forces came in using violence, in the culture of India, nobody coerced someone else to hold a particular viewpoint. And if they did, they were the extreme minority and they weren't Hindu. So let's be clear. Hindu Tva has been weaponized by the people who are afraid of it. But you see, as Hindus, we have no desire to weaponize the culture that we're practicing because it has to be taught in a friendly way. Just try to think of it this way. Is the Supreme Being angry and dangerous or friendly and your best friend? If there is a Supreme Being, I don't mind. If you say, I'm not sure yet, great. That's fine, that's intelligent. But at the same time, if there's a Supreme Being who made all the flowers and birds and everything, made it so beautiful, made the world this incredible, beautiful world, if anyone's that smart, What's the likelihood that they're a despot and can't wait to hurt you? <laughs> to someone who's a Hindu, that's a laughable idea. We laugh and go, no, no, no. I'm sorry, but you are very misunderstanding. You understand? You shouldn't be afraid of the source of all beauty. 